Hey everybody, it's John DePietro, and we are continuing our stop at Majors RV. It's a spring open house. It's today and tomorrow. And uh, you know what? We talked to you before about getting in and out of your RV easily, and our friend Jeff is going to show us because, Jeff, you got to admit that um, some of the stairs that are put into some of the RVs, even when they're, uh, even the big high end ones, brand new. Brand new. They're, they're, they have some movement to it. They have a lot of movement. And, it's the uh, nature of how they of... attach those stairs onto the onto the frame of the RV. Mm -hmm. There's no support to them, so you've got a two, yep. three, or four step coming. No ground, out. right? Out into into air. Into air, right? So the, just the nature of putting that much weight on the end of that, you're going to have some wiggle waggle, some bounce. It's just it's just the nature. There's nothing you can do about it. The guys at Moorite saw this, saw a need, and said, "Hey, wait a minute, we can do something different." So what they have done is they have developed a step that is not hanging out in the air. Yep. It's actually coming down, as you can see, you've got a firm point on the ground. Okay. It's not moving a muscle. Okay, not at all. Not, not, not at all. Not at all. It's a very easy, simple install. Um, you can leave your existing stairs, leave them up underneath. You'll never use. Trust me, you'll never use them again. Oh, okay, so it's not. You're not having to disconnect the motor. No, you can leave your existing stairs in. You'll okay. never need them again. The nice thing about this system, John, is that it's pretty lightweight. But when it's time to leave and you're going on to your destination, your next campground, or unfortunately going home, yeah, it just folds up right into the doorway, just like that. Close the door. Hmm. And you're off. Now, Lisa says she needs new stairs. Lisa, tell us where you're from, and we'll uh, hook you up with our friends here at, um, at Majors. Lisa, so let's show you. So let's show them how. Okay, you, now at, you've gotten to your you're new at spot. You're the campground. You're about to okay. have fun. Open okay. up your door. Open the door. Just unhook. And you're done. And there, that's it. Now, if you happen to be, have some uneven ground, I was gonna ask each about, one of these steps are adjustable oh, independently in one-inch increments. Oh, for one of each, each, yep, each it, from his other, okay. Yep, and then, again, like I said, you're going to have absolutely no movement. It's available in a two, three, or a four-step, depending on how high okay. up your camper is. Yep. With a three and a four-step, there is an optional handrail uh, as well for the three and the four-step that will attach right up to the frame of the step, and that handrail will actually go up inside the camper with it when you fold the steps up okay. into the uh, into the RV. Now, Jeff, Lisa says that um, she lives in Derby, Connecticut. She says, can she order them? Lisa, do you want to put them on yourself, or if you're ever at Cape Cod during the summer, you can... Um, she can certainly install them, them, them step, the, yep. themselves. They come with instructions, but more right also does have a website that will go through the instructions. Okay. On their website, they'll also she'll, she'll take a look. There's a couple of measurements that I'm going to need. I'm going to need to know okay. how wide the door is. Yeah. And then from the threshold to the ground, how high it is. And that's going to determine Number of which steps. step and yeah. how many steps. Okay. There that's are a wide cool. variety of different sizes. So yeah. That, there's, 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 there's several different sizes, diff several different steps. Okay. The question I have is, uh, are these for uh, travel trailers and fifth wheels only? only? Yes, John. Okay. So uh, with a motorhome, you don't want to. Uh... You cannot block that egress. Okay. Out of, uh, okay. Out, 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 out with, with the motorhome. So okay. yeah, this is for uh, travel trailers and fifth wheels only. Okay. So Lisa, would you have a travel trailer and fifth wheel, or do you have a motorhome? If you have a motorhome, there might be something else that can help you with. But um, uh, you know, no, Lisa, one size does not fit all. Jeff, no. ex explain that. Uh... Yeah, I'm going to need to know how wide your door is, and then from the threshold to the ground, that's going to determine which step is, 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 is for, your, for your application. Okay. okay. And we've been thrilled with the, with, the, with, the, with the steps and just getting rid of that wiggle waggle. So it's, sometimes it's just downright dangerous. She has a travel trailer. Okay, so that's good. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, stand on that again because, uh, you know. And there's, there's absolutely okay. no give yeah. whatsoever. Okay. Now, what if you went out in the garage and one of the units that's out there and you started jumping on the steps? What oh, the chances yeah. are you'd break yeah. them? <laughs> I, mean, that are, I would have right. just broken my leg. Right, exactly. They would have broken... Or the whole trailer. I mean, I'm sure everybody who has been to the campground and has seen somebody coming in and out of a travel trailer fifth wheel, you can see that whole rig yep. rocking back and forth. <laughs> just in, and that's all that they're doing is getting in and out of the steps. Yeah. That's just the nature of having a step attached onto the frame and having that stair sticking out into, in, into air and having not having support. I've even have I've seen the supports you can put underneath the step. It's not supporting it at the very end, and now that the constant adjustment. Get it up higher, get it firmer. Since it's not doing a good, as good of a job of having two legs down on the ground, adjustable, 
and, and, and having okay. that firm base. Lisa is asking, okay, I understand that part. How long for delivery? Um, do you have some in stock? I have some steps in stock. If okay. I don't have that particular step, step usually it takes me a day or two out. We're a UPS shipping store, so once we get it, it would just be a couple of days. Hey, Lisa, let's do this. As soon as your, um, as soon as this video ends, why don't you call Jeff directly here at Major? Jeff, tell her the number. Lisa, give me a call at 508 759 2833 and I can be reached at extension 5. Okay, so Lisa, do that. I don't want you to put your uh, phone number here, but you call Jeff. Absolutely. And um, Jeff, if Lisa wants you to, d if, if she wants you to, um, well, let me ask you this further question. Um, she purchased it through you. Can you have it drop shipped to another location? It'll come here. From here, we can ship anywhere in the continental okay. U.S. Okay, Lisa, so um, we can ship it to you there. But um, if she decides to come here and have you install it, once you have it in and you have a date, yep. um, generally how long would it take for One or two hours. One or two hours, so that's come, not... Uh, yep, you have to take a look at the exact application. Yeah. She uh, can go yeah, up what, and get a lobster roll. Now you're talking. And get a lobster roll in the meantime. So um, these are becoming very, very popular. I see them, a lot of the new units are coming with them. Oh yeah, right in it. Yeah, a lot of the manufacturers. I mean, it's it's the the, the old style steps have been a problem in the industry since they put since steps on. Right. Yep. So having an option and some of the newer manufacturers seeing this better option, going well, my goodness, why wouldn't you? And the price point, to be perfectly honest with you, is roughly the same as your old accordion step. Yeah, accordion so step. Okay. A manufacturer looking at that, going, okay, they're roughly the same price. Why wouldn't you go with something like this? Okay. So Jeff, another thing is, uh, I just totally lost my train of thought. Oh, I know. When we were camping last week down in Tennessee and Kentucky, we saw many, many motorhomes, you know, full campgrounds. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people, next to their steps, they had another step, or they had blocks of wood holding them because... Well, that exact same problem. You know... Um, Especially, I mean, even brand new, they're tough. But as, as, as the motorhomes, as uh, all of the RVs, as they age... You've got metal on metal contact. That metal yeah. on metal contact is going to wear, and once it starts to wear, it, it goes from it was already bad, brand new, it was bad, yeah. but it goes from bad to worse, and then even worse to the hmm. point where it, it becomes a hazard. Joe Croto was asking ballpark pricing. Um, they begin around three hundred and fifty bucks. Oh. That's, That's peanuts. What I'm it, That's peanuts. It, it, roughly, if, if somebody comes to me and asks for a new accordion step, yeah. they start around same pricing, two bucks or so. So yeah, they're, they're roughly the same. That price. installation. It's one to two hours, uh, depending on the exact location. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. So for 500 bucks, Joe, you get a brand new uh, system to move in and out. And you did show that even with one finger, you can, uh, one finger, you can pull that out. Make sure your door is open all the way. Yeah, make sure your door is open all the way. And that's that. Okay. So that's the step story. And uh, Lisa, give us give Jeff a call. We're about to sign off, but uh, give Jeff a call at give that call, number, Lisa. and um, we'll see if we can help you out. Fantastic. So that's a story from Majors RV. We're here at our open house. Open house so all day today. All day today. All day tomorrow. All day tomorrow. Everything in stock is anywhere from ten to forty percent off. And the reason for that? Hey, let's go back one more time. Let's go back to the <laughs> to the gimmick wheel. John, you like the wheel. I like the wheel. It's all right. Okay, everybody. Say hi, Hannah. Hi, Hannah. Okay. So, and, and those steps, would those steps fall under that? If, yes. Okay, so hypothetical scenario. If Lisa bought the steps mm -hmm. during this sale, mm -hmm. okay, and she could... She, what I would do is I would grab a customer that I have floating around, and yeah. the customer would spin the wheel spin for Spin the wheel Lisa. for her. Okay, so if she got... So, Lisa, here's your chance. <laughs> here's your chance. What color? It stops at yellow. Yellow, fifteen percent. Fifteen percent off. A three hundred bucks. What's that? Forty-five dollars, right? Not bad. So it takes care of half the insulation. Insula Absolutely. Absolutely. So yeah, yeah, that's how it works. Everything in stock, ten to forty percent off, all day today, all day tomorrow. Uh, come on down and see us. We'll get you squared away. Okay. Next time we speak, can we uh, talk to Mr. Perry and let him know what? Find out what he's got outside there. We've got Wine Guard's top rep out here. He doesn't rep just Wine Guard. He, wine, he reps a number of different companies. He wines a lot too, though. Yeah, well, yeah. you got to take that with Mike. Yeah. But Mike has got a nice display set up outside for the company that he, that he reps. He knows his products. We're going to go out and we're, we're going to talk with him. We're going to talk about. It's some a pretty wine interesting items. thing, like those digital, those uh, solar lights. I just sold one of them because of uh, Mike. Uh, there you uh, go. The solar light. They're, they're, those are pretty neat. There's a Wi-Fi extender. 
There's some satellites hooked up. There's some TPMS systems. So, yeah, we're going to talk to Mike. And, uh, and if we don't get off this one, we're going to segue right into the next segment. <laughs> <laughs> See you, everybody. Thanks, John.